shape the battle. Like, decide where it was going, decide what was going on, but these two teams, both big powerhouses, big punters on both of them, and they, of course, want to be the ones to say, you guys should come over here and fight. But if they don't, well, I mean, who's going to be the aggressing ones? We'll have to wait and see. And right about now, we can see the teams dropping. So the blue guys <laughs> on screen for everybody at home are Team Turkey, and the Greek yeah. Cypriot team are the Reds. A little confusing for those, but uh, we got seven games potentially to go through, so I'm sure we're getting used to it. Yeah, we're seeing a west to eastern uh, plane path, mm -hmm. and it looks as though we might see a fifty, like a relatively fifty-fifty split yeah. down the centre of the map from north to south, and how these teams are splitting up. We can see some of the Greek and Cypriot players heading towards the military. Oh wait, we do have an outlier there. Yeah, I think that's an AFK jump, maybe. You think so? Yeah. They're not really. Oh, one of them is moving now. The other guy is just like kind of stalling in the air. You can um, see Code. Code is going down. Pandex is. Oh, he just oh, popped his shoot. He's, oh, he's, trying to, oh. he's realizing that he's deep, deep, deep behind enemy lines, and he has to get the oh, the, the Code, something out of there. Yeah, dropping. Yeah, and he's just going straight down and trying to see if he can uh, get himself a vehicle potentially and get somewhere yeah. over on the other side. Okay, cool. So, yeah, um, that's um, <laughs> in in comparison to what we've seen so far. We've seen guys at home. If any of you aren't returning viewers, a big range of how the initial drop start and how the different nations split their mm. um, initial pushes or, or looting strategies. And on a wrangle, we started things off with a fifty-fifty between Team Turkey and Team Finland, and. It, this seems relatively wow. similar. Like, this is um, quite a standard drop in that sense. Look at this circle, though. If this commits to military, you got Greece and Cyprus already with control of the Western Bridge, and this is where you got to sell yourself. I ask yourself, how in the universe, if you're Turkey, do you manage to get over to the island now? Because if they already have control of the entire Western coast, they just need there's to no down. entry point. Yeah, exactly. There's no entry point whatsoever. I mean, help me here in, in terms of theory crafting, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. for me, I'm looking at the map, I'm seeing the Western Bridge is the only entry point, right? They're, they're not, unless they are they're able boats, to... boats, of course. Yeah and, yeah, and boats. And so how, how could they approach the bridge? How could they use boats? I mean, surely in, in either circumstance, hmm. if the right angles are set up by Greece and Cyprus, it's not going to look too good for Turkey. We actually had a really good game. If we can bring up the map again real quick, we had a really good game with the UK where they held the bridge against the French. They sent X amount of players onto each bridge themselves, and then they put a couple of guys, just like 100, 200 meters in between, as kind of a post towers around the entire island to give the info if they're trying to get around the boats you have them sit in there just to give the info then they can whoom, swoop their teammates around they just you need to spread out and take full shoreline control of the island here because you will know i mean probably let's say you'll know at least 30 seconds before they actually hit the beach if the boat is coming in because i mean you'll see it in pretty far distance and don't don't get that fast too right so you can get over five six players and if you explode that boat on the water there's no nux it's just your death. I'm buzzing, Toby. I, I really like the way that this first map is shaping up, considering where the circle has dropped and how much emphasis you've put on the military island. Mm -hmm. um, I think, you know, this early on, I feel like we've learned if there aren't that many engagements straight away and there's yeah. no sort of exact telling um, sort of positioning that it's hard to see where games go. But mm. because of where the circle is, being sent around that military island, it feels like uh, there's going to have to be a pretty big pushed by Turkey yeah. at some point and, and, and really they're going to have to really execute some smart strategies to break the, the Greek Cypriot defense line that surely mm. will end up being set up. I mean, they are good. They are good at uh, and doing exactly that, making that committed push for the, like on forward. We've seen them do it so many times before and that's pretty much what's gotten them here to uh, to begin with. But you see this? Just two boats. I mean, that's eight people you can get across right there, right? Do we have anything else down here? I don't think so. Oh, there's a jet ski as well. That's two more. So we are about 10. That's going to be 14. I mean, if you're smart, honestly, if you're smart at this point, because if you're Greece, you have both bridges under control right now. Send a couple of guys down, take all the boats across now. Just you sail, think, them, oh, sail uh, them over right now, so all the yeah. Turkish players are going to be like, wait, what? there are no boats? So across. you're saying the Greek Cypriot players should kind of... Go come, over, come, take the boats, yeah. and come back. Okay. You might as well. I mean, you, you don't but need it, that much ammo and stuff anyway. Sure, right? but, but, but it's... Um, f for us, with, with hindsight and overview... It, that seems like the, the, the right decision, but yeah. surely, surely the Greek Cypriot players aren't necessarily sure how pushed up Turkey could well, be. Well, obviously, they don't know how far up they've made yeah. it, sure. But, it, for example, here, instead of just taking three guys in a vehicle, splitting the two vehicles, 
take the boats. I mean, yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah. Why not make like the disadvantage even bigger? Well, let's see. Final. Let's see what happens here as they approach the bridge. If any of them break off, they could like. What do you want to do here? Of course, as well, put those vehicles in and block off the entire bridge. Oh man, like, you're, make coming, blockade, up with, make you're, you're coming up with some. No, really... we've seen that happen so many times. Yeah, oh, blockade, really... like full on blockade on the bridge. That's what you want to do. Okay, you got to do that. Just Which park them sideways. Which team do that? That's, uh, that that's was the French, cool. the French and um, and American, like French and, um, and British as well. They they made a really nice blockade. But now look at this. They're already they're allowing them over. They're not committing. They're not. But Mithrain control. here off he on his there. off on his bike. Mm -hmm. Where's Where's Mithrain going? Where's Ooh, the they're captain turning around. for Turkey? They're turning around. They're realizing. Well, oh, these guys are sitting over there. They yeah. were they were waiting for. They knew it, and they're going back now to sit and see if they can scout further forward. You see, you already have the players. You can see them in the very bottom right corner of your minimap down there. There are players waiting. You have two guys. It's only two though. There's not a lot of players. Should four vehicles come over? I actually kind of like this. Mithrain came up and the guys were like, you know, no, 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 you're the captain. You cannot go first. We'll send, we'll send some expendable ones instead of you. We're seeing an engagement here. The first of the match. Oh, when it's a DP as well. 47 boards in. Essentially, it, blow those like vehicles to pieces. Three, oh, no. So, yeah, the reinforcements are coming in for Turkey. They, there's definitely some sort of sense between both teams that... They need yeah, more people. That they need more people. That they're, 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 they? they're under pressure. And look at this. Now they send over the first guy. Sure, one guy is shooting. But look at how many vehicles are coming in. They're allowing them across. And Billum is forced to pull back now. They have to be up here. Now the util now they're coming in. You can see it from the Greek side as well. Now they're coming in to help. But it's going to be too late. They've already got a foothold on the other side. Ah, so Turkey there making the decision to push early and not let the Greek Cypriot team properly set up. Nonetheless, it is Perfectkiss that takes out Mithrain, yet yeah, mm -hmm, completely mm -hmm. off the server. Captain down. Captain, Captain down. down. BSD taken down now as well. And that's what the um, that's what the Greeks need to do. They need to just take full control. You see this take out of the vehicles now, so they're trying to block off the road here. They do not want to let them <laughs> on over. This. They do not want to let them cross. Jin Jay now all up on the front line here. Captain representing his team, keeping the morale high, saying, you guys, you need me up here. I'll help you out. But they're, they're just, it's leaking too hot, man. It's leaking way too hot down here. Shin Jay has been a force to be reckoned with both whilst he's been alive and, and been dead. He's uh, got a knock there, which I'm sure he'll shortly finish off. And it seems like a lot of... Uh, Turkish knocks coming up there, but now they return fire, knocking Shinje, the captain, and give it to me. But this is a many... very, this is a relatively quick start for yeah, Arangol. It is, but look at how many Turkish players have made it across. Now, not only this, but they've secured the beach behind them as well. So because they had the boats on the western side down by Pimors, they can now cross over safely. As long as these Turkish players that have already gotten themselves somewhat of a front line here, as long as they Woo! keep this front line, they have a chance. And look at how much damage Whoa, they're doing. That's five Tur uh, Greek, uh, Greek Cypriot deaths there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of them going down. I think um, it's definitely showing. The, the, the level of tactics being employed by both teams here. The Greek Cypriot team had a good setup in terms of where they put their initial drops. And Team Turkey then, after seeing the circle land, realized, look, we're going to end up being completely blocked out of this island and the circle if we don't make mo uh, some action now. So they started pushing across that bridge, and it wasn't really clear which team would end up on the better side of things. But now, Turkey have got a bit of a, fo uh, a, a, a foothold and pushed the Greek Cypriot team back. I would say right off the bat here, should Greece and Cyprus not win this first game? Normally you can say, oh, the other guys just bested us, but this one was theirs to win. They had the island, they had full control, they just didn't, I mean, they didn't take take charge when they had a chance. To. And I mean, if you're a team in Turkey, I mean, maybe that's the thing, right? If you're Greece and Cyprus, they just haven't been up against that yet. They haven't been up against a team that dares to just full commit to one thing. And uh, now the circle does go east. It commits pretty much to the military island. And it seems to me like all the Tur like Greek and Cyprus players, they're just retreating. Yeah, we're having <laughs> that moment where after heavy engagement, heavy fire, that there is a, a break, a repositioning. Uh, they're moving now, to the Greek Cypriot team, deeper into the circle. They're deciding that the positions they're currently in aren't really worth it. Currently... Being drawn, uh, our attention is being drawn to Kalimdor, who is just chilling, just chilling in the vehicle. Marco made it across as well, far off from his team, but he's down here. Yeah, so Co Code Marco and Kalimdor doing some sort of reconnaissance, or yeah, it's it's a um, they're gathering info, sure. 
but Kalimdor might Cal, the info Kalimdor can provide might not be as useful as the as the info code Mark. Yeah, no, of course. Do. I mean, he's so he's so far out. But I'm I'm thinking, is he going to circle around to north of um, the bridge just could be, just could below be. Uh, Milta? Yeah, yeah, Milta, Milta, Milta. Yeah, could be. Could be. Um, I mean, I he wouldn't necessarily be able to offer up a lot of resistance, mm. but he could potentially get one knock or put some damage down. Could be. Or at the very least, and potentially most importantly, get a lot of information. Yeah. Um, and at least do some sort of containment. If you are going to be like one versus what, look how many uh, Greeks... You might not want to start shooting. <laughs> yeah, but, but also if you end up being forced into that position, you want them in a channel, right? Straight. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, but right now, it looks... Yeah, it's, it's hard to tell exactly which... We'll, we'll, we'll catch up with Kalemdor shortly, but we can see the Greek Cypriot team now very much centralised around the circle... Look at how much uh, Novo to their to their east. Look at how much room the Turkish team is getting down south. I mean, it seems to me like the Greek and Cyprus players are saying, you know what, guys, you can come in from the south. We won't go up against that. Kalimdor, he's Kalimdor's doing it. He is going to the north of yeah, the Eastern yeah, Bridge. Yeah. Too bad they're already sitting up there holding it. Yeah. <laughs> they, that's that's so smart by the Greek Cypriot players that yeah. um, they're, they're, they're aware that someone could be, or at least there could even be a task force doing it right, could be making a play to, to get some information north. Mob Z looking directly towards where Kalimdor yeah. could be, but his attention is also drawn to the wide open um, area to the, to the west of the military base too. Now the good thing is we have all the Persos players from what we like to call the observatory, just southeast of where Naskal is positioned. All these players, they have such a high ground position that they can see pretty much everything going on in this island. So even though even though all the Turkish players are maneuvering around south, they must have given the info at this point that they're all the way down there because they can see all the way down there. So they must have seen all those vehicles come around. Like, they have to have seen. Now they're starting shooting as well. They must know that, they, that this is where the uh, yeah. pretty much the entirety of the Turkish army is at this point. You can and see I, this position. I have, a, I have a feeling that the... Um the Turkish team are looking to create that sort of um, half moon, that semicircle mm -hmm, from, mm -hmm. to, from where they were coming to where Code Marco is. Yeah. And that's going to be sort of their wave that they're going to push. Or Yeah, see, look, like they're, they're creating that Trying cluster, spread little, that yeah. spread um, around the southeastern section of the map. And yet Kalimdor is now north of the bridge. Yeah. Look at where the circle goes now, too. It actually somewhat, I mean, oh, it favors the team that will be the quickest at getting down here. Mm. They both have a chance. Nazca's all the way down immediately, but look at the positioning averagely. Could Nazca be overcommitting yeah. by going that that quickly? When, when could be too, like, he could be moving too fast. I mean, if, he's, if his team is not down there to help him. Talking about moving too fast when the Greek players are running over his teammate. We have seen that before from them. And yet Nazgul now being forced into an engagement mm. against Loggy, Slippy and um, that Nash Bay? Smash Bay. Smash Bay, yes. Yeah. Three Turkish players. And yeah, the Greek team reacts straight away as well. They realize they need to plug those holes. Chester pushing up. Nazgul now relatively safe. We're in a relatively even position. The Turkish players do have some high ground over Novo. And yeah, this is a full-on engagement. They need to get down here quickly. They need to take full control. But like once again, seems like the Greek and Cypric players are allowing for Turkey to get in. And you cannot give Turkey too much room. I mean, once they get a chance to utilize their move as one unit and start fighting, that is going to be so difficult for them to handle. We have players from Greece that are trying to kind of maneuver their way up top. If they can pin this them down... Fantastic positioning. If they can maneuver and uh, pin them down. That would be really smart for him. Pilar, you see, making his move up here, but he's taking so much in for his team, too, because he's spotted out this entire flank. Doesn't manage to get a knock, but does a lot of damage. However, drawing attention to himself as well. Yeah, the point you just mentioned, I think that's the right idea from Greece and Cyprus to try and get some people up on the high ground. Mm. You know, it defends them from the high ground. They can get more information on the low ground in Novo. Yeah. And it also just goes to show they're kind of trying to pull off the same moves here. They're just mirroring each other completely. Ooh, right. big nade there. Yeah, right on the money. Well, a, a nade from two players, and it's Lost Rays that takes out Polyderic. Gets him down in the end, but there's still somewhat of a uh, denial on the flank around being put up by seemingly five players. Could they commit some more? Seems like they are as well. Up over the top, they could have these players completely pinned inside these. What do we have here? Five, six, maybe seven houses. Urban warfare right Urban now. Urban warfare. Urban warfare. Gecko in a compound. Does that have a specific name, this compound? It's a warehouse. Yeah, just the, uh, the warehouse <laughs> in the center of Novo. Um, it's an interesting position because he's, you know, on his own, but he can look out, he can get some information. 
it's so hard in, in areas like this where there's so much cover mm. to know exactly which angles you've checked and yeah. if you need to check them again. Um, but nonetheless, he does have that vision and he's kind of out there being a bit of a cheeky, small level UAV. Oh, goodness, I think they have spotted what was the, uh, the side push here. Rita has been spotted out. She's putting a lot of pressure in return down to just 10 HP. Oh. And actually, guess who goes down? But a lot of fire now coming in from the uh, Greek and Cyborg team. A an exchange there from both teams. 26 for 26. I really think this is showing us how much potential this grand final has. Yeah. Both of these teams looked relatively strong against their respective opponents in the semi-finals. And now we're seeing both teams um, over the course of the last 15 minutes on this first map reacting to each other, picking smart positioning, and also landing the shots in utility when it matters. And you can see how they're playing. They want to get around. They want to they be keep, able to they, sit underneath. Yeah, yeah they're, they're just <laughs> continuously running south exactly. trying to point it, pin each other out. Because also for Turkey, they know if they allow for them to get around, they're going be, it's going to be impossible for them to go anywhere, shoot the circle, go back out west. It feels like both of these teams, um, compared to the other teams we've seen so ha far, have the best grasp of 32 versus 32 sort of movement theory. and, and re react reaction and theory. Theory crafting here. Did Greece and Turkey, because we kind of gave them a little bit of beef for not going down here fast enough, mm. did they just lure them into a trap instead by saying, oh no, oh. we didn't get down in time? And I was yeah. saying, ha! You fell for it, now we can sort of contain them inside because they have water all the way around. Like, there's nowhere else to go. That's not a bad point. That actually. would be like 200 IQ in game leader and saying, nope, give it to them, give it to them. We'll just go all the way around and keep them inside. Yeah, because it's. Yeah. So you mean that on, on, on the side of, of Turkey? Or, or Greek, oh, Greek and Cyprus. Yeah, Greek Cyprus, because yeah, yeah. they're the ones now that are looking towards the water and it's exactly. the Turkish team exactly. that have their backs to it. Um, only thing is so by letting them get that control first, they end up putting them in essentially a bit of a corner. Exactly. The only thing is going to be if this circle somehow continues to go down towards the city. Yeah, that's not what you want to have, Coach. <laughs> if this if this circle somehow continues to go down towards Novo, then look at this push they have to make in the open. Mm. Downhill in the open, no vehicles. It's going to be a tough push down for the Greek and Cyprus teams should they be forced to make the run down from here. Yeah. Six. Uh, six ahead for Greek and Cyprus, but mm -hmm. we do know that that sort of lead isn't too substantial, but it can quickly spiral out of control. We're in a period of um, of rest for both teams now that they're sort of just feeling each other out after they've established the, the current positionings that they're in. They have only got one player. I mean, if you look at the map, I think they have one player that's not inside of Novo. Everyone else is uh, pretty much inside either a house or the containers area. You see, they're out far out in the distance up there. There's one player. There's one player far down south in the distance, but uh, everyone else is inside either the warehouse containers or the houses themselves. Yeah, this is <laughs> careful, calculated um, play by both teams. It's, yeah. It's... It's going to be quite telling when the next circle pops. And I think, I think that's, I think that's why going you see to be, no one engaging. Yeah, right I now. think that's what both teams are yeah. waiting for, yeah. sort of minimizing um, losses and, and, and not, not overthinking things until they have to yeah. have to adapt what they're doing to the new circle. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you anymore on that. I mean, it just tap a few shots if you can destroy a helmet because we. I mean, at that point, I mean, technically for that, the uh, Turkish team is in an advantage in the fact that they can come down into these houses, maybe get a new vest, maybe get a new helmet that can set them up for a better position later. But uh, if you're knocking people on the top here, if you're knocking Greek, some Greek players, hitting them, destroying the vests, destroying helmets, I don't really see where they can run to get any sort of upgrades in that regard with them being out in the open. But New Circle does pop. Who is it going to favor? I said that let's see, let's see. <laughs> 19 Ooh. minutes in, and the Circle... Who does that favor there? I mean, it, it doesn't really change too much. I mean, it goes much. in the direction of the Turkish team. Obviously. Yeah, but I don't think but it necessarily changes the, the, how geographically these teams the are going to The thing is, look where on the southwest, look where all these players are sitting from the Greek and Cyprus team. They are running back now, the other way. Because they have, if they have to push down to the next tree line, there's no running up north for them. Because right now they have control of the northern side of the city. If they go further down south now, like further towards the city, they will not be able to make that flank around the side. The Greek separate team look like they want to put 
a lot of resources north of, yeah. of, of Novo and collapsing that way. Yeah, everyone's I think coming down. Just coming in. This, yeah. is their, this is their only free ex like entry point to the city, right? Yeah, this is the push that they're making. They still have some vehicles so they can get into safety in relatively far speed. And yeah, now they are committed to Novo, at least the majority of the team. It seems like they just oh, want to go up and they, down inside. And Turkey now, going slightly south, almost... Um, Taking over, uh, I, can't I, think, I think they're staying. They're, no, they are staying. Staying in the same. No, room. and they, they, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, they're right. They are the staying in, in that building. They have just, like pretty much three groups right now of yeah. players, and then a few players scattered out in the uh, containers area. Yeah, and then there's just a small task force of Greek separate players still on the top of the hill. Yeah, could that be um, a group of players that then tries to do a late flank? Could be. Could be. Question is whether they want to stick around for much longer because if they have to push down towards the city, they might just find themselves caught out in the open. I yeah, think the majority look. of players actually from Greece, I think the majority of them went north. Okay. I don't think we have anyone yeah. else hugging the hill. No, it is. Anymore. It is. It, yeah. It's what we noticed before. I just... Okay, here we go. In the container area, Gecko coming through, completely deletes Shish off the server. Pandex behind him, ready to support. Nice. MFS unable to help his teammate. He needs to reposition. He's under a lot of fire now. Grenades raining in. I like the play coming in from Greece and Cyprus team. They're really holding off. You know, they know the importance and of that one player. Oh, in he with a good him. angle here. He gets him. Good job by MFS. Yeah. Unstun on the shoulder peeking, like looking out, looking out around the corner, making sure to get the finish off there before he runs back. Smart play. MFS is playing for the kebabs on a daily basis. Playing for the kebabs? Yep, that's their team name. Oh, okay. I just love it because it's Turkey's kebabs. I had a kebab last night, it was good. Yeah. Sweden has good kebab culture. Yeah, they do. They do. Indeed, they do. Gava Ahmet knocking Negriano. Mage Bane high up there. On Good overview. The container mover. Is that I think, that, I think those what those things do. They pick up the. Yeah, yeah, they do. I just wonder if that's the name for it. Container, container mover, mover is just a literal sort of <laughs> phrasing I came up with. It. Okay, the circle now, very much centered around the Turkish force. Yeah. But you know the Greek Cypriot players with their northern position can um, move around the cover that they're in to get within there. Mm. And this is where you might benefit more from having smaller squad communication. Because yes. once you're in these container areas, you cannot have eight or ten people talk at the same time. You need that, just like that duo thing, where you pick one corner, have the guy trade immediately if you're there. I mean, this is close quarters, gone next level, if you, all these players have to run around between these containers. Mm. And yet, still, so now, just now, the, the two Greek separate players that were on the hill are starting to come um, around to that northern mm. side, a bit mm. close to the rest of their squad. Um, Turkey's still at a disadvantage, but not much movement from them. The, the, the main uh, battles that have been happening so far on Nova have been around this container area. And we've got now uh, that moment where people are uh, rethinking their strategy. And the issue at this point is you cannot really push any further. I mean, they're pretty much locked down where they are right now. It if you try to push into a next house, you don't know if there's going to be one, if there's going to be eight players inside yeah. it, right? No, it looks like we're getting to the end game of this match. Yeah. At some point, there's going to be a big engagement, a lot of commitments. We see Marco and Anil taking off a duo from Pierce off Black Label as well. And these are the knocks they need to try and make up the numbers. They need to finish the kills off, but it's a good yeah. way to get uh, things started. And that's the point exactly. They need to finish them off where they can because they can get the knocks from their windows, but they won't be able to, they can push on it because they do not know what they're running into mm. on the other side of the street, right? So um, there's a bit of a stalemate right now, unseen, obviously. Unseen. Hiding it out in the company. Look at how many knocks coming in from Turkey right now. Yeah, a lot of knocks, but unseen is going to. Unfortunately for Oswell, he's going to be taken out. This is just one the trades are coming in. Yep. Trades are coming in. Just got to take that one building at the time to maneuver your way further forward. Mm. And they just got themselves one more of those. Things are going so hold Chester. Uh, just, um, Chester. Maybe some visual stuff. Oh, no. He got knocked. Oh, I see. <laughs> he thought, yeah, but sometimes observing in... In game. Yeah, 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 you don't exactly see a literal view of what they're seeing. I yeah, imagine he was yeah. scoping through the door. Yeah, something like that. Just a little. Uh, I thought that was actually a teammate on the other side. Also, if you're if you're 37 people in Nova, I'm sure their FPS is sitting somewhere around 15 to 18 right now. So, you think so? <laughs> I don't know, but it's probably it's probably. I mean, there's there's a lot of tension on the server. Yeah. There's so many people being alive in the oh, server. Definitely. Tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> Almost completely even, 18 to 19. 
It's pretty tied up. I mean, waiting they were up by the six, next, right? Yeah, Three waiting for the next six. set of knocks. And they have the percentage now. Let's see. Here we go. Ooh, that is a wow. circle that very much favours Team Turkey. They are going to love seeing that coming down on the map. It puts the Greek Cypriot players at what a slight disadvantage now. But we've seen them in this position before where the circle does not favour them and they manage to make the right plays yeah. to put pressure on and not... Uh, let the circle dictate their fate. This is interesting, really interesting. I mean, it seems to me like Turkey, they just came into the south side of the city. They never wanted to go north, and now they got four hardships down towards them. Pretty fortunate in the positioning. But now we see, I was just going to say as well, there's no reason for them to push down into the city. Go out east, because you actually have yeah. an area in the containers that's inside the next circle. Yeah, exactly. And the Greek separate players seem to be thinking along the same lines as you, Toby. They're doing that rotation. Now, MFS 1905... Feeling the wrath of the Greek Cypriot nation. But it is Yumba that is going to be taken out, as well as Negriano getting knocked. Oh, and the nade finishes his, him off. Turkey here, really doing a good job of keeping this Greek Cypriot rotation from exploiting their position. All out warfare in the container area. Trades on both sides, 17 to 17. And you can see the Turkish players realizing that the swoop on the side is happening, and they're now putting so many more players over on this Ooh, corner. That Pullman. nade could be on the money, gets himself one more. Players are starting to die to the blue now. We are in phase seven, and this wall of death is gonna do so much damage and take so many players with it. But look at the kill feed constantly popping off. Exactly, and it's Turkey now that is doing a great job of forcing the Greek secret players into those angles. But again, should Turkey win this one, it's on Greece to have thrown the game. They had military, they had the control of the Western Bridge, they just never committed to it early enough and it cost them so much. We talked about don't give Turkey too much space because they will utilize it. And it's happening right here. Everyone except for Gucci caught inside that warehouse right now. Oop! Got here trying to make a hero, hero play, but unfortunately stubbed out by dogs. And Turkey now putting the final stamp on